All right guys, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. Uh, in this video, we're gonna show you how to diagnose and uh, remove and replace the uh, front ABS sensor in your Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Um, this is the iCarsoft MB version 1.0. It's available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. And this is what we're gonna use to actually diagnose the fault with this vehicle. Uh, so. From the menu screen here, if we can just look into this, we click into Diagnostics, click into Benz, and we're going to scroll down and find our specific vehicle, which is a 212 E-Class. It's a sedan, diesel engine, right-hand steering, E250, manual, a manual select that is. And we need to scroll down to find the ESP program, this one here. So we'll click into read fault code. And there it's giving us the fault code 447100. And that is component L6 slash 2 right front axle RPM sensor. Um, so this is telling us basically that the, uh, the front ABS sensor on the right hand side is faulty. And we need to go ahead and correct that. Uh, we'll put a new ABS sensor in. Uh, but we'll show you how to do that right now. We'll show you how to remove the old one, put the new one in. And then of course, um, we'll come back into the vehicle to actually reset the fault codes. Okay, so you'll need to use a rivet remover for these two. Stick that in, and it pulls these out. Normally they come out as one piece, but if they come out as two pieces, then it doesn't really matter. Because you can just pop that back in when you reinsert the panel. Okay, actually I've just noticed that there were two more that I need to get out. So we've got, uh, it looks like a 10 mil there, and it looks like a 10 mil there as well. These two are eight millimeters. And so we have both of these out now. Well, it looks like I've missed one more. We'll get there eventually. It's right under there. That looks like an eight mil as well. And that one was a 10 mil. Now, you can see we have this panel off completely. All right, so once we've removed the panel, you will see the black cables here, they're running up into this box here, which is held in with a retaining clip. I don't know if you can see that the silver bar running across the top there. So we need to basically get that out. I haven't figured 100% how to do that yet, but I suspect I'll just need to pry it up. It's so when we did that, the clip popped out, and then you can just basically pull the sensor part out, as shown here. And then they come apart depending on which actual sensor you need to um, replace. You need to come behind the hub, and you'll see that there is a, just where this, if you look at where this spanner is, if you look at the other end of it, it is actually attached to a 10 mil bolt and this bolt best way to get it to it is like I've got here you put your spanner on it and you should be able to move it, it shouldn't be too difficult if it is you might need to squirt some WD-40 on there 
you've just got to be patient really in getting it out so once you've um, done this enough times the ABS sensor in the hub will actually just slide out and then it's just a case of unraveling it all putting the new ABS sensor in and then going back into the vehicle and clearing the fault codes all right guys so we've just removed the old ABS sensor in we've now put the ABS the new ABS sensor in which was just the exact reverse of removing it and uh, we've hooked everything back up now but obviously you can still see we've got all of these lights on the dashboard still um, the code is still there so what we need to do is just simply come out of this we need to click on to clear fault memory and when I do this it's gonna ask me am I sure I'm gonna click OK to that clear trouble code completed all the lights are still on we need to come out of the ABS system on the tool and then we'll see all of these so when I come out of this watch these lights turn off here there we go they've all gone off there obviously apart from the seatbelt and the handbrake which are still applied and it's all thanks to the iCars of MB version 1.0 uh, it's a great little kit here and uh, we'll diagnose many other systems as well engines airbags ABS transmission uh, parking sensors air conditioning you name it it will do it it's available at diagnostic world it's www.diagnostic-world.com uh, thanks for watching this video i hope it's been helpful for you and if you do have any questions about this kit uh, please contact us on the website thanks for watching